Hi, it's Carla again. Here at TWIN, we take your blood sugar levels seriously. As you make important lifestyle changes, we aim to help you keep your blood sugar levels on a safe but steady decline until they consistently fall in normal range. If you've watched some of our other videos, you've probably heard us mention the terms hypoglycemia, meaning low blood sugar, and hyperglycemia, meaning high blood sugar. Today, I want to discuss a condition known as the Dawn phenomenon, also called the Dawn effect. This condition is described as an abnormal early morning increase in blood sugar, usually between 4 a.m. and 10 a.m. or about eight to 10 hours after falling asleep. The Dawn effect's exact cause is unknown, but we do recognize that certain hormones such as adrenaline, cortisol, and growth hormone are present in higher concentrations in the blood during these early morning hours. The body produces these hormones usually when under high stress, which can include anything from a diet that increases blood sugar levels, lack of sleep, lack of activity, as well as worries and concerns. All of these hormones promote the release of glucose into the blood. Hyperglycemia is commonly defined as a glucose level of 180 milligrams per deciliter or higher. You may experience symptoms if you reach these levels. Symptoms such as excessive thirst, excessive urination, fatigue, blurry vision, headaches, nausea, vomiting, and dizziness. If you experience early signs and symptoms of hyperglycemia, please contact your twin provider immediately. Although twin provides continuous glucose monitoring with the Dexcom G6, we also provide a meter that can check both ketone and glucose levels. This is important as you will need to double check your CGM readings with a finger stick meter if you get an erroneous reading or one that seems to be inaccurate. If you already have a glucose meter, please use it to double check your CGM readings. Otherwise, we will provide glucose strips to be used with the meter we provided. If your morning glucose readings are both high, it is possible that you may have the Dawn effect. Keep in mind that your Dexcom will send a hyperglycemia alert at 250 milligrams per deciliter or higher. If this happens, be sure to check your glucose finger stick meter against your CGM and then contact your twin physician. There are several measures that help prevent or treat the Dawn effect. Try these three measures first. Take one tablespoon of coconut oil before bedtime. Coconut oil can help your body use insulin more effectively and provides a quick source of energy for your body. If you prefer to add the oil to something, try decaf green or chamomile tea. Exercise in the evening. Plan to exercise for 15 to 20 minutes after dinner, but before bedtime to help metabolize sugar in your blood. Walking and lifting weights is ideal, but other forms of exercise are good too. Exercise can make you more alert, so allow some time afterwards to relax and settle before trying to fall asleep. Eat a small portion of fat at bedtime. Fat replaces glucose as a source of energy. Try about 10 nuts, one tablespoon of nut butter, or one ounce of cheese. If after trying the above measures for a full week, you still wake up with high blood sugar readings, try adding one or two of the following strategies. It's important to try just one or two at a time to see which has the best effect. If you notice no change after another full week, then you can try additional measures, such as minimizing carbohydrates at dinner, Eating fewer carbohydrates at dinner can help manage blood sugar during the night. Add extra fiber with more vegetables to help fill you up. And avoid berries at nighttime. Get enough sleep. It can make a world of a difference. Shoot for a minimum of seven to eight hours of sleep every night on the same schedule. That means going to sleep and getting up at the same time every day, including weekends. Try one of these fasting methods. Fasting helps lower blood sugar levels and facilitates fat burning. Reduce your eating period to between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. during the day to extend your fasting time to 12 hours during the night. Eat breakfast late and dinner early to increase fasting time. Avoid intense morning exercise. High intensity cardio workouts in the morning increase cortisol levels which can contribute to high blood sugar readings. 
A 15 to 20 minute morning walk works better for people who experience the Dawn effect. And lastly, take one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar mixed with water at bedtime or drink a cup of decaf green tea in the evening after dinner. Both apple cider vinegar and green tea have been shown to lower high blood sugar. Here are Twin's top sleep tips to help you get a better night's sleep. Be consistent with bedtime. Lie down at the same time every night, preferably 11 p.m. or earlier, and wake up at the same time every morning, even on weekends. Avoid caffeinated beverages after 2 p.m. Caffeine consumed late in the day can easily keep you up. Finish eating two to three hours before sleep. Allowing time for food to digest before you lie down minimizes the chance of heartburn and feeling uncomfortable, which can wake you or make it hard to fall asleep. Avoid alcohol. Alcohol can make you sleepy at first, but as the sugars from alcohol are metabolized, you can suddenly find yourself awake. Finish exercise an hour before bed. Exercise can make you more alert, so allow time to relax and settle in. If you exercise in the evening, choose low impact workouts like walking, swimming, and yoga since you don't get your adrenaline pumping as much as running, biking, and other high intensity workouts. Make a to-do list for the next day. This helps you let go of the day, putting your mind at ease and feeling prepared for the next day. Clear your mind. If you have racing thoughts or concerns, write them down and tell yourself, I will think about these things tomorrow. Set your phone to night shift. In settings on your phone, laptop and tablet too, turn on night shift from sunset to sunrise to avoid blue light. Shifting to the warmer end of the color spectrum after dark can help improve sleep. Keep your bedroom dark or wear a sleep mask to create a restful environment. If needed, keep a soft red light nearby. It's easier on your eyes when shifting from dark to light. Keep your bedroom cool. The ideal sleeping temperature is 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Drink chamomile tea. Have a cup 30 to 60 minutes before bed to help you relax. Meditate or follow our fall asleep routine. Meditation is the practice of training your attention to achieve a calm state. If you have difficulty falling asleep, try various forms of meditation, mindfulness, or our muscle relaxing and breathing routine. If you have the option, you can also ask a partner or friend to guide you through our fall asleep routine in a calming tone of voice. Once you learn the routine, you'll be able to guide yourself. You can start by lying down on your back comfortably. Take deep, slow, rhythmic breaths. Bring awareness to your breath. Close your eyes and continue breathing. Stretch your face muscles. Start with the jaw and slowly move to the cheeks and forehead. Don't strain, just stretch them by moving them gently. Relax your shoulders. Loosen any tension there. Let them feel heavy. Relax both hands, starting with your fingers. Let them open and loosen. Relax your legs, starting with your thighs and moving down to your feet. Flex lightly, then let them feel heavy. Relax your eyelids, releasing any tension. When thoughts arise, simply notice them and let them fade away. Say to yourself, I will attend to those issues with a fresh mind tomorrow. Remember to breathe. Breathe deeply, slowly, and rhythmically. Bring attention to your breath. Continue breathing deeply, slowly, and rhythmically. Feel free to roll onto your side if you're more comfortable. Thanks for watching and please be sure to let a member of the Twin Care team know if you have any questions or concerns. See you next time.